guys, welcome back to Cottonwood Hill Farms. So uh, today on the agenda, what we're gonna be doing is we've got a, uh, we kind of got an emergency here, emergency situation. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we, uh, there seems to be a theme. We fix a lot of stuff, a lot of repairs. That happens when you farm with other people's junk, I guess. But anyway, this four-wheeler, uh, we got a situation with the four-wheeler. And this four-wheeler, I cannot farm without this four-wheeler. With rotating the cattle, <clears throat> everything that I do out in the pastures, moving fence, this thing is uh, this thing is my lifeline. It's my legs. So I have to have this thing running. And uh, in fact, just a few several months back, I blew a tire on it, and I had to wait two days for a for a new tire, and uh, that was a struggle just to get by those two days. Anyway, so what we're looking at here is uh, the rear differential right here is. Uh, <clears throat> It is leaking, and it's been leaking for a while, but it's really bad now. You can't even keep any oil in it at all. And uh, idle at a slight roll, just coasting, it uh, kind of sounds like somebody's knocking on your front door. But as loose as this is, I'm guessing it's a bearing. I mean, I'm sure the gears probably don't look the best either, but it's not slipping at all, and it's fairly tight. So I'm hoping that it looks pretty decent because a new one of these is like 500 bucks, and I was able to get a bearing and seal kit for like 75 off of eBay. So we're gonna we're gonna hopefully uh, we're gonna do some praying and hope that that kind of takes care of my issue for right now, and I'm sure it's probably gonna need a, a complete rebuild, new gears and everything, or just a whole new one in the next uh, year or two. But if I can just get by with a seal kit and bearings for right now, that'll really help me out um, a lot. So anyway, that's kind of what we're looking at here. This four wheeler is a '99 Kawasaki Prairie, and uh, Grandpa bought this thing back in. It's a 99. I think he bought it in 2002 or somewhere around there, give or take a year. And uh, this thing, he never did a lot with it. <clears throat> it sat a lot. And then after he got sick and, and kind of, and passed away, it it got used by family members and whatever on the farm. But I know it, it's just to tell you how bad it is. I think in in the what 20, 24 years or whatever, or well 20, 21 years or whatever we've had it i think the oil's been changed less than five times in fact i can almost tell you for a fact it's been let changed less than five times but uh i've been trying to do the last several years take a better take better care of it but anyway it's uh it's a good machine it runs it always starts uh but we need to get that taken care of and, and i also got a new starter for it on the bench the starter finder finally is starting to get iffy on me so the first thing I'm going to do is take this differential off the axle, get it on the bench and tear it apart and kind of see what we're looking at and make sure it's worth putting the seals and the bearings and stuff in it. So anyway, let's get started. So the video that I watched failed to mention that the differential slides off of the uh, axle. <clears throat> you gotta take the hub off. I didn't see that part. That wasn't that big of a deal though. Man, this thing is nasty. Look at that. This has not been messed with in a while. So here's the differential. This thing is nasty. I am going to I gotta pop all these bolts off all the way around and uh, open this thing up now this thing has on the top and the bottom it's got a little groove where you can pry with your screwdriver that way you don't booger up the the housing. Oh my gosh. Th 
this thing is nasty. I think what I'm going to do is take this and clean this off real good so I can actually see what is going on here because as of right now, man, this thing's nasty. All right, so I'm going to kind of show you guys where I'm at right now. <clears throat> I didn't film a lot of that. <clears throat> Excuse me, because... Uh, it was kind of boring to be honest with you, but uh, I got the bearing out of here and the seal, and I think that is this one right here, and it is a mess. These bearings were all shot. The good thing is, I mean, you can see, look at this. I told you it sounded like somebody was knocking on your front door. So there's a bearing in here, and there's a bearing in here, and they're both shot this uh this was the bearing what's left of it that goes right in here and then this bearing was in the cover which it wasn't horrible but i got that out got that all cleaned up so that's the new seal that's the new bearing and now let's see yeah then this is the seal this is the seal that came, yeah, this, so this is the seal for up here that came out. <clears throat> this is kind of interesting the way this works, but there's a, so that hex head right there, I don't know if you can see down in there, right there, you can barely see it, but there's some threads down in there. Yeah, that set screw goes all the way through, and then that's what holds this, it's a, it's not a nut. I don't even know what you would call that. I guess it's a nut. But anyway, you got to pull that Allen head out. And then this piece right here, this hex piece, unscrews. And then that's how you get this out. And then once you get that out, somehow, looks like, looks like that's got to come out, I guess. I'm not totally sure how you punch that out. But that's a roll, roll pin, and I don't know how you get the bearing in there. But anyway, that's where we're at. I'm gonna keep messing with this. I figured out why the spirometer doesn't work. I don't know if you can see that. If it'll focus. I don't know if it'll focus. See how that's all chewed up. That won't focus. Anyway, well, you can kind of see there. Anyway, that's why the spirometer doesn't work. This thing, the speedometer hooks in, oops, hooks in right here. And then this is supposed to spin and tell you how fast you're going. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'll check back in. All right, so it's the next day. I, uh, I didn't film a bunch of that because it was, this thing was absolutely filthy and it took me forever to get it cleaned up. I had, I had oil and it was like this nasty sludge. I think you guys saw it in the video in the, the clipper a little bit earlier, but it was, uh, it, I had, that crap coming out of my earlobes it was disgusting anyway so just to recap a little bit this thing this bearing's bad this bearing in here is toast they're both toast and then my my uh, speedometer gear is obviously not supposed to have a half moon in it i don't know if i'm going to replace that or not if i can get one quick enough i will otherwise i really don't care how fast i'm going uh but uh this is where we're at so the o-rings i got this kit they didn't send any stinking o-rings which is frustrating so I called uh, the local Kawasaki dealer here and I'm gonna check and see if they've got a kit maybe that I can get from them quick. Otherwise, I'll have to run over over to Omaha and uh, go, there's a place over there that has all kinds of O-rings and rubber stuff like that. Uh, O-rings and then it also, this roll pin. And my YouTube University instructor failed to mention this as well. There's a roll pin right there that holds this bearing in. And I'm assuming you have to drill that out because there's no way to push that out at all. There's no, it's sealed on the other side. So I'm guessing you gotta drill that roll pin out. And that's the other thing, I'm trying to find a new roll pin for this as well. And then the other issue we're having is I've gotta get, there's a nut right inside here and I've gotta get that nut uh, pulled out of there. So I'm gonna take some flat stock, cut it, 
and weld together a piece and I think I can make it work without buying the right tool for that and just slide it down in there but you guys will see what I mean here in a second All right, so here's what I made. I just threw this together quick. The uh, YouTube video I watched, the guy used a nut, and, or a couple nuts and a piece of pipe, and this, uh, my neighbor gave me this idea. This is just some flat stock that I had laying on the, uh, laying on the workbench. I think it's gonna work just fine. Aha! Look at that. Look at that. Got it out. That's what's in there. A little nut. Look at that bearing. You can see right through it. Alright, so this is where we're at on this thing. Uh, quick update before I put it all back together. I got the uh, this bearing out. It was pretty much in pieces. I had to use a chisel and a screwdriver and pop it out. Got it out of there. Had to drill out this uh, spring pin, got it out of there, and I picked up a new one, got everything cleaned up and nice. It should be, it's actually in pretty decent shape. You can see where the, it's kind of pitted, but that shouldn't affect the, uh, shouldn't affect the way it runs at all. I think it'll still be fine. So anyway, I'm going to start putting this thing back together. I've got all my O-rings. I got, had to run over to Omaha, pick up some O-rings. I got the O-rings for this. So we're going to put this all back together. It shouldn't take too long. Um, should be good as new, right? Well, I got it all back together. I did not get the starter put on yet. The starter's right down here. 
it is right there you can see all the marks on it from me hitting it when it doesn't work but uh anyway this uh it's all back together and it sounds much much better so i uh, i'll get that starter on sometime here in the next week or so it's not that big of a deal it's been acting up for gosh three four months <laughs> four yeah four or five months something like that so it's not that big of a deal i'll get it on but uh anyway that's probably gonna be it for this video i uh that uh, that was a learning experience i'd never really i'd never really worked much on a four-wheeler to begin with let alone a differential like that so that was pretty interesting very easy the only bummer was the kit that i ordered from ebay didn't come with o-rings it came with the seals it came with the bearings but they didn't send any o-rings and uh it didn't have the roll pin so i had to find uh find that stuff elsewhere but that really wasn't that big of a deal either so Anyway, uh, Kawasaki Prairie 300 rear differential uh, rebuild. And uh, like I said, if it gets me by a year, then uh, that's good enough. I'll end up just getting another rear, rear diff for it. That's not that big of a deal. So anyway, uh, if you guys are still watching, we really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel too. The, so I don't know if you, you noticed, but the uh, attire changed a little bit because this happened over a few days. And while I was waiting for things and... Uh, I couldn't couldn't do this all in one day obviously so in between working on this I was also working on the tractor too so that Massey 1130 is pretty much wrapped up all uh, I got probably two more hours worth of that to do I gotta fix the tire put the tin on and a couple other things and then uh, I'm gonna fire that thing up and be ready to go so probably right after this video is when that video is gonna come out too so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you uh, don't miss when that comes out when I got that finished up and uh, we also got some exciting stuff coming on we're getting ready to plant some uh, orchard grass I gotta do just a little bit of light tillage and plant some grass and some other stuff out in the field work um, and then spread manure too so there'll be videos coming out of that stuff too so anyway again like I said if you guys are still watching we really appreciate it thanks for all the support and uh, if you like what you're seeing maybe uh, share it with somebody that you think might like it as well and uh, we would appreciate that too so uh, you guys take care and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.